We began a series on prayer yesterday, and we began to focus on the Sermon on the Mount, one of Christ's most vital teachings. It's got famous sections like the Beatitudes, but oftentimes we forget that it also includes a big section on prayer where he talked about how vital it is, and he talked a lot about how we're supposed to pray. Remember that in this Sermon on the Mount, Christ is talking to his closest followers, people that he is uh, becoming his disciples. He is discipling these people, and he's teaching them in some of the most fundamental aspects of the kingdom of God. And prayer is, is that, that uh, one of those most basic areas in which we endeavor to build a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. We've got to come to God. We've got to believe that he is. We have to have faith. And in order to build that faith, we have to understand his word and talk with God, have a relationship with God. So Christ focused on that. And one of the things he said was that we don't do it for show. He said that there's specific places that we really get into deep conversations with God. And here's what he said in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 6. He says, but when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So he focuses on private prayer. In this particular verse, Christ is talking about going into a secret place. It can be a room, it can be a closet, it can be a place off away from everyone else. It could be outdoors in nature for all, all, all that concerns. But it is a, a secret place where we really delve into the real true treasures of our life, and that is in a relationship with God. You might look at it as if uh, the treasures are already there waiting to be discovered in, the, in that we have a relationship with God, we discover what God's will, His purpose is, we prayerfully read the scriptures, we pray about that, uh, but we do that in a secret setting where all the distractions of life are put aside mm -hmm. and we have time to focus for a period of time in on God, on his word, and talking to God in prayer. There's a power in prayer, and that power certainly comes from God himself, that when we have a right relationship with him, we can share everything there is about us with him, and he, he knows it already. He wants to share with us, and we need to share our life with him and, and look to him for solutions in our life. Now, Christ is focused on not being a hypocrite, and he's also focused on, when we pray, going into a secret place. These are some of the preludes to deeper aspects of prayer. We'll come back in another episode of BT Daily, and we'll talk more about what, how Jesus taught his disciples to pray. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.